G'day and welcome to today's bottom up boats comparison video where we compare the two most popular ways to secure your boat at the dock. Delving into the similarities and differences between the OXO and hitch methods. Before we get into today's video, we want to make it crystal clear that the team at Bottom Up Boats isn't in the only hitch or only OXO category when tying up your boat. Instead, we prefer to consider six key factors which we're going to take you through to help you choose depending on the situation you find yourself in. The first factor to consider is how easy each option is to tie. If you've been paying attention to the right hand side of the screen while we've been talking through the intro, you can see that both options are relatively easy and with a bit of practice and a few repetitions, they should be both committed to your inventory of sailing skills. The second factor is safety, which is always key to consider when on the water. And for this attribute, we rate the OXO method as being safer than the hitch for two main reasons. The full loop around the cleat at the start of the process will help take load off as you complete the rest of the knot. And the second one is, is when you're completing the hitch and you put the pivot point over to finally lock it off, if you're not careful, you could get your hands wrapped up between the rope and the cleat. Uh, which could be you know, very dangerous, uh, particularly if there's a lot of load on your rope as you're securing your boat. The third and probably the most critically important factor is the holding load. In both these examples, we have the rope sized matched to the cleat. And so the standard way of tying both of the knots will secure most vessels as the rope tightens on itself around the cleat. If, you, however, your rope doesn't match the cleat, for example, you have a thinner diameter rope with a large cleat, they'll actually slip. In making this video, we did several tests and the loads turned out to be equal as the rope got thinner with the amount of additional turns that you needed to put at the start of the knot to ensure that you didn't get slippage. So for the holding load, we're going to rate them as equal across a range of rope diameters and cleat sizes. If you would like a more detailed explanation of this, click on the card up in the top right hand corner to learn how to tie the perfect cleatage every time. The fourth option to consider is how easy it is to untie, particularly after heavy load has been applied, particularly if you're securing a large vessel. And in this one, there is a clear winner with the OXO method being always easy to unravel regardless of how much load has been implied. With the hitch and the way that the final loop is done over the complete, this locks down on itself and can be, in some cases, impossible to untie easily after load has been applied. The fifth option to consider is the amount of rope that each option uses. While tying the standard variation that we've shown in the demo, the hitch uses approximately 20 to 30% less rope. So if you're in a situation where you've got a short tail on your mooring line, you may need to go for the hitch to ensure you're safely secured. The final factor to consider is the impact on the cleat. And what do we mean by this? The OXO method will have a additional loops around the cleat. This is not an issue if you're on a private mooring and your rope matches your cleat, but if you're in a shared environment where multiple people could be tying off uh, on the same cleat, it can get a fair bit bulkier. So it could be in a situation where you're securing over the top of someone else's knot and the hitch may be the better option for you to ensure that your line stays on the cleat. So taking into consideration these six factors, we believe the OXO method is our preferred way to tie off your boat, mainly due to the 
ease of use, both tying and untying after load and the safety aspects. With that said, and to finish, we do still feel there is a place for the hitch. And I know personally, I secure my boat with one, particularly if I know that I'm gonna be away for several weeks and there may be some bad weather coming along. Better to be safe than sorry with that extra locking loop at the end tightening on itself means that it's always there when I come back. If you've made it this far, why not head over to our community page and take part in our poll, letting us know which method you prefer.